What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, I was going to get on here and I was going to talk about what Stephen A. Smith said today in response to Kyrie Irving. You know, about, hey, uh, basically, you know, Stephen A. Smith told Kyrie Irving in a tweet, because that's how they communicate now, right? <laughs> um, Look, I don't owe you or your father a damn thing. But he did show respect to Rod Strickland saying, that's Kyrie Irving's uncle, saying, uh, hey, I respect that brother. Mad respect for him. Which by definition is saying, I have no respect for you or your daddy, Kyrie. Then he, he goes on to say that, you know, why don't you talk about Kyrie, right? Why don't we have a one-on-one -on -one where I call you out for your bullshit about how you don't respect people, uh, how you throw people on the bus, how you treat people, you know? And like I said, there's some shit about Kyrie that I don't like, the way he kind of, you know, I don't know certain things that, he, that, that Stephen Smith might be aware of or heard of, but just from observation, Kyrie sometimes doesn't seem like the most loyal person. From the outside looking in. But the way Stephen A. Smith was talking in that tweet, man. First of all, I know that he's all mouth. He's all mouth. Okay? He ain't gonna bust a grape. Okay? Town Business already proved that when he ran up on Stephen A. Smith a couple of years ago. Stephen A. Smith ran up out of the fucking uh, the eatery area, the breakfast area where he was eating. He, he ran the fuck up out of there. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. Or at least he ran away from town. So at the end of the day, Stephen Smith talks, okay? He talks. He's, he's a promoter. This is all this bullshit is. So it's not that I'm thinking like, oh, I'm not putting them on the level of Biggie and Tupac like that. It's not really the two players. Like, Kyrie is a basketball player. Stephen Smith is an entertainer. What I'm getting concerned about is the rhetoric. Okay, it's going beyond just basketball and it's becoming personal and it's it's like a snowball that's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger coming down that, you know, that mountainous hill and it's getting bigger and bigger and it's going to become a huge avalanche that threatens people involved in this situation. Because it's not big in Tupac that led to their demise. It was the noise around them. The atmosphere that led to those two brothers' demise. And I'm not trying to be a killjoy. I'm not trying to be that, oh, man, you're making a mountain out of a molehill type situation, uh, dude. I'm not trying to do that. But I'm seeing warning signs, man. I'm seeing a lot of warning signs of, of man, I've been really hesitant to use this fucking term. You know, for a long time, man, um, I, I'm I'm not gonna use that term. I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it like this. Sports talk has catered to the lowest common denominator when it comes to audiences. And by that I mean people who oftentimes don't don't seek education. Or when I say seek education, they don't want to be educated by shit. They don't want to learn about the history. But don't give a fuck about none of that shit. They want to be entertained. Okay? They just want to be entertained. Now remember, we are a full generation, more than a full generation uh, away since Biggie and Tupac lost their lives. Remember how that shit got out of control. We have a whole new generation where everything now is on social media. Right? And what's making me uncomfortable with this situation is you got Draymond Green out there calling Perk 
what he's calling them. To the point where Swagoo has to talk to Big Perk and calm him down. You got a situation, well, look, uh, Russell Westbrook and Skip Bayless, they ain't gonna really amount to shit. What I'm concerned about is Stephen A. Smith has been talking a lot of shit for years, but he's getting out of pocket with his shit. He's getting out of pocket with a lot of the shit he's saying. And I understand a lot of most of these NBA players ain't built like that, man. But like I said, it's not the players. It's other people around them. Who's to say Stephen, uh, uh, Kyrie Irving ain't got some cousin that loves Kyrie Irving, right? Loves him. And, you know, Kyrie's done a lot for this cousin. But his cousin a little bit, you know, he's out there. He got that mentality. He got that, that about him. And who to say, man, you know, I'm not trying to wish any of this shit into, into reality, but you don't know. You don't know who the fuck people know. And people got to stop talking. Look, it's already been established that Stephen A. Smith has security with him now, right? So he's out here talking this shit creating this facade like he's Bumpy Johnson 2.0, that he's Nicky Barnes. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I know Stephen A. Smith makes money, but his mouth is one day going to write a check that his ass can't cash. And I just see History repeating itself in a lot of ways. Now, I'm not saying it's going to end in alleged bloodshed. I'm not saying that. But this shit can get out of hand. It most definitely can get out of hand. So that's all I'm saying, man. I, I, don't, like the, I don't like the way this shit going, bro. It's getting, it's getting stupid, man. It's one thing to talk, oh, man, you know... Uh, you know, he sucks as a player, man. He's not playing well. You keep about basketball, but this shit's getting too personal. This has nothing to do with basketball. Nothing. What they're talking about has nothing to do with basketball. It's character assassination. That's my problem. Nothing to do with basketball. And that's what the fuck is pro the problem I have now. It's getting to a point where it's just another instance with two black men going at each other for stupid fucking reasons and the shit going in stupidly. And everybody going to talk about all oh, that was a shame. Man, fuck that bullshit. 